design tips from WWDC 2015, a new site design from Oculus, Photoshop demo artboards, and Instagram introduce a new account page. It's Tuesday 16th of June and this is News on Design. Some great WWDC videos were published last week by Apple, five of which purely focus on design. From Apple Watch design tips and tricks to designing with future hardware and an in-depth look at the San Francisco type family, these videos are essential viewing. On top of this, check out the 2015 Apple Design Award winners, which include Affinity Designer, Fantastical, and one that caught my eye, a playful app called Metamorphobet, which brings letters to life. Brady Evans, Adobe product designer, dropped a tweet last week hinting that multiple artboards will soon be coming to Photoshop. This was later demoed on Periscope, which emphasised one particular use case, app design. To me, this feels like too little too late. Photoshop has totally fallen behind as a useful tool for screen design. It's fundamentally flawed by its emphasis on pixel design. Sure, you can shoehorn in vector objects, but meh, sketch wins every time. I suppose this new feature could be useful for legacy Photoshop projects and may excite teams that still use the application. Oculus announced its final consumer version of the Rift last week. Coming in Q1 of 2016, the headset sure does look the part with higher quality plastics and fabrics, all of which are shown on the Oculus' updated website. The new site design takes full advantage of the awesome product shots which show immense amount of detail. Copy and UI, which by the way uses Oculus Sans, is kept to an absolute minimum, allowing core focus to be on the product itself. It's pretty sleek. There's also a shot of the interface you'll see inside the Rift, with a store and recent activity from friends. In my opinion, this looks a little less exciting. Stylistically, it follows cues from other gaming platforms, and after seeing the site design, feels a little bit disappointing. But that nitpick aside, the games do look pretty incredible. And finally, Instagram launched a redesigned version of its web user account page. The new design totally strips things back, making the layout feel much cleaner. Was this done for performance reasons or purely to bring the web view more in line with the app? It will be interesting to know the strategic decisions behind this update. So that's a roundup of the past week's digital design activities. You can find links to all the things discussed in the description below. And make sure to subscribe for future updates. See you next week. 